The concept of reincarnation has been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Many religions such as Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, and Jainism, to name a few, believe that we are reincarnated after death. Now, while it is widely accepted that a reincarnated soul has no memory of its past life, there are some who believe that very young children may have access to some of those past memories. In fact, scientists who have studied the phenomenon found that 100% of cases occurred in young children. The average age of onset is between 3 and 4 years old. Whether or not you believe in reincarnation and past life exploration, this list of 10 kids who remember their past selves will still shock you. Some of these children have detailed memories that actually match up with historical events. Often, they know things that such young children would never have reason to know or even have had the chance to learn. Before we get started, be sure to click subscribe so you can stay up to date with more spooky or amazing stories. Shanti Devi Born in Delhi, India in 1926, Shanti Devi began to remember her previous life at age 4. She told her parents that her real home was with her husband in Mathura and even tried to run away to Mathura at the age of 6. She told her teacher that she had died 10 days after giving birth and that her husband's name was Kedar Nath. Her teacher also noted that she spoke more like someone from Mathura than a child growing up in Delhi. After some time, they found a man of that name in Mathura who confirmed that his wife, Ludi Devi, had died 10 days after giving birth to their son nine years before. He visited pretending to be his own brother, but Shanti immediately recognized Kedar along with members of his family. The case came to the attention of Mahatma Gandhi who confirmed that she was indeed the reincarnation of Ludi Devi. Cameron Macaulay The case of Cameron Macaulay, a boy from Glasgow, saw him remembering his past life from the age of two. He stated that he had lived on Barra, a remote island to which he had never been, and missed his mother, his previous life mother, so badly that he was genuinely distressed. For three years, all he had talked about was his home on Barra, and even mentioned that his father had been called Shane Roberts and that he was killed when hit by a car. Eventually, his parents and a documentary crew took him to Barra. The details he remembered were truly amazing. He remembered the color of his house, the breed of his dog, and the view from his window. Isn't that creepy? It's just the beginning. Chennai Chumalaiwang Born in Thailand, Chennai began to tell his parents at age 3 that he had in fact been a teacher called Bua Kai and that he had been shot and killed as he rode his bike to school one day. He begged his shocked parents to take him to a specific village where Bua Kai's parents lived because he felt they were his own parents. Eventually, his grandmother took him and stated that he immediately led them to a house where an elderly couple lived. He seemed to immediately recognize them. What is really strange, however, is that Bua Kai was shot in the head from behind. Chennai had birthmarks which corresponded eerily with the entry and exit wounds Bua Kai suffered. James Leininger James was born in 1998 and at the age of two began to remember having a different life. He pointed to a picture of Iwo Jima and told his shocked parents that this was where his plane had been shot down. They did some research and found that only one plane was shot down over Iwo Jima during the Second World War, and it was flown by American pilot Lieutenant James Houston Jr. Not only did James Leininger remember being shot down, but he correctly stated that his ship was called the Natoma, the USS Natoma to be precise. Lieutenant Houston was shot down in 1945. Little James would also wake from horrible nightmares in which he talked about being on fire, unable to escape from the doomed plane. His parents eventually tracked down members of Lieutenant Houston's crew, now elderly men, and these veterans confirmed that the things James Leininger said were 100% true and frighteningly accurate. Ryan A boy from the Midwest, Ryan, began having terrible nightmares at the age of four. When he turned five, he told his mother Cindy that he used to be someone else and began begging her to take him home to Hollywood. He remembered detailed meetings with people such as Rita Hayworth and even remembered that the street he had lived on had the word rock in it. Cindy checked books out at her local library and there they found a picture of the man that Ryan said he had once been. In desperate need of help, Cindy hired a psychiatrist who began to research Ryan's case. After two weeks, they found out that the man in the photo was a movie extra called Marty Martin. All of the details Ryan had given about his past life matched up. Chase Bowman 
Chase Bowman is unique in that if he actually remembered his past life, he never volunteered the information. It was discovered in a hypnotherapy session. Given the nature of his death, however, the memories may very well have been repressed. Chase was born with a severe phobia of loud noises that only increased as he aged. He had terrible night terrors and a strange rash appeared on his wrist at intervals. Eventually, his stressed mother took him to a hypnotherapist and they uncovered something truly remarkable. Chase had been a black soldier during the American Civil War and died because he was shot in the wrist. While under, he described wearing brown, dirty clothes that were ripped while he hid behind a rock at the edge of a valley during a battle. The Pollock Twins The case of the Pollock Twins is a strange one, and no doubt their parents found it highly distressing. You see, the Pollock Twins, Jillian and Jennifer, appear to be the reincarnation of their own deceased sisters, Jacqueline and Joanna, who died a year before the twins were born. Their father noticed that Jennifer had a white line on her head similar to a scar Jacqueline had received after falling off of her bike. She also had an identical birthmark on her leg. The family left town for four years and when they returned, the twins claimed to have visited landmarks they had never even seen. They named all of their sister's old toys correctly and even remembered attending their sister's old school, which they claimed was actually their old school. The memories faded when they turned five, however, and they haven't returned since. PM PM was born 12 years after the death of his half-brother, give or take, and it was soon noticed that he had some strange and coincidental birthmarks. You see, his half-brother had died of neuroblastoma at the age of two. He had suffered a pathological fracture of his left tibia, had received a biopsy of a nodule on his scalp just above his right ear, and was given chemo through a central line in his right external jugular vein. Guess where his birthmarks were? That's right, they matched up eerily well. PM also had corneal leukoma, which left him practically blind in his left eye, which was strange as his brother had been entirely blind in his left eye when he died. Furthermore, PM began to speak to his mother about the previous family home and described it in great detail. Spooky. Anonymous. The boy in this story was just three years old in 2009 when he told his parents and doctors that he had once been someone else and knew where his grave was. As such, we have protected his name. We'll call him Dan. Dan claimed that he was killed with an axe blow to the head exactly where his birthmark was and that he could lead them to his grave. He took the doctor investigating his case to a village, walked up to a man there and said, I used to be your neighbor. We had a fight and you killed me with an axe. The man's face is reported to have gone white and the boy said that he could show them where the body was buried. He led them to a pile of stones and underneath there was a skeleton wearing farmer's clothes. The skull had a clean axe wound right on top of it, splitting the skull almost exactly where Dan's birthmark was. How creepy is that? Sam Taylor And finally, there is the strange case of Sam Taylor, who seems to have been a reincarnation of his own grandfather. It sounds a bit complicated for sure, but the evidence points that way. Sam's grandfather died just 18 months before Sam was born, and though he showed signs of past life memories at a young age, his parents were very skeptical. That is until Sam told his father, when I was your age, I used to change your diapers. During a changing. Creepy, right? Furthermore, Sam began to tell his parents things about his grandfather's private life that he couldn't possibly have known. Weirder still, they were all true. Think about that one for a while. 